all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue, and it has rained all day, yesterday and today. And I am so sorry we didn't get to do Singing Sunday today, and I had promised everybody I was going to go out and do a live walkabout after Singing Sunday because I haven't done one in such a long time, and then it rained. And as you can see, our volunteers are having a blast in the rain. But sincerely, it is hard work to do all of the things that they have to do in the rain. Feeding the cats and cleaning the cages and just getting around the property wearing those big old boots or wellies if you're here from the UK. Uh, even though they're splashing in the mud right now, I'm sure everybody has cold, wet sock feet. I hate that feeling of cold, wet feet, so thank you everyone who came out and worked in the miserable cold rain today. I have a coordinator report from Jennifer Russick. Thank you for coordinating everyone today. It says, today, Nisha and Sadie's last Sunday fun day. We will miss them and hope they come back soon. It was a rainy day, so we got started cleaning right away to beat the rain. Since it was raining, we did food prep, made lots of blood sickles, and mopped the gift shop. We also cleaned up fallen branches throughout the day. Time for a warm cup of cocoa. And that is from Jennifer Russick. And then we'll see if there's any big cat news. If you go to bigcatrescue.org slash news, Paula does a great job of keeping us all up to date on the most recent news. Looks like there was a cougar tranquilized and relocated from a Draper neighborhood. Don't know what state that was. But if you click on any of these on the headline, it will take you to the entire story. There's another story about the mysterious neurological disease that's afflicting endangered Florida panthers and bobcats. I was, um, <laughs> I was a little miffed that this National Geographic article didn't mention Big Cat Rescue at all. And we have been supplying that data on all of the bobcats that we are called out to rescue. We had data going back to 2008 of cats acting really neurologic when we pick them up. And we've been concerned that it might be something in the waterways because we just can't find, can't find what the common denominator is, except for the fact that all of the cats that we picked up were near places where there were like mining going on and the water could have been contaminated from the local mines. And of course, you know, when you're talking about industry, all of a sudden, some people don't want to talk about how that's impacting our nature and our wildlife anymore and so those things don't come forward in the media like they should but i'm really sad about this feline leu leukomyelopathy or whatever they're calling it in <laughs> even though it has a name they don't know what's causing it so i don't even know how they gave it a name given the fact that they don't know what it is but it does have this unpronounceable name that essentially means they are so neurotic that they can't hunt any longer. They can barely walk and then they end up starving. And so this has been a really, really bad thing that's happening here in Florida to not only our iconic Florida panther, but also to bobcats. And so you can read the whole story here. And um, on my Facebook page, I talk about how since 20, I think since 2018, we had been in dialogue with the Florida Wildlife Commission and giving them all of our data that went back to 2008, plus any of the cats that we've picked up that were already dead. We have taken those to the state labs, which means we have to drive all the way over to Kissimmee to do it. But we want to make sure, and they've actually sent somebody out here a couple times to pick up cats that were dead um, to add to this database of knowledge that we have. And I don't know of any other organization working with them to do that. Howard and I were absolutely thrilled over the conservation game winning the show Social Justice Award at the Santa Barbara Film Festival. I sent it out to, you know, after Tiger King, I had something like 300 media outlets now that have reached out to me wanting to talk about Tiger King. And I only wrote to them once. I wrote to them on December the 22nd and said, you know, here's where all the people from Tiger King are now. <laughs> <laughs> kind of pointing out that all those people that said all that nasty stuff about me, yeah, they're all in serious trouble with the law. Well, no, not all, but vast majority of them are in serious trouble with the law right now for wildlife trafficking and animal abuse charges. So um, that was the last time I had written to this entire group of people that had reached out to me. And I thought that The Conservation Game is a, a movie, a documentary that everybody really needs to see 
it talks about, it, it exposes what actually started the big cat crisis in America and why there are so many tigers in horrible backyard cages and why we are losing tigers in the wild. All of that is in this really important film. And I couldn't, I only got one place in Ireland that even responded to me so far. Now, granted, I sent it to them on Saturday and it's Sunday and maybe these people will come in to work tomorrow, but I'm just, I'm really disappointed that people want to talk about gossip and trash, but they don't want to talk about the really important issues. And this is a really important issue. So hopefully I will be pleasantly surprised by some people who have some sense of morality or concern for our planet and hope they will do reviews on this really important film coming out. So that was this story right here. And then should people in concept be allowed to own a big cat, bear, or a crocodile? No, they should not. Abandoned tiger starts training to hunt in India. Captive lions kept in stressful conditions create perfect recipe for disease, experts say. Louis Theroux on the prowl for the real story in the new Tiger King documentary. I think that one I've already talked about. And that's the one that came out in the BBC or in the UK on the BBC. And I can't wait until that one's available, available in the United States because it really tells the truth about the matter. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Stay dry. Stay cool, cats. Mwah.